Hello, you guys. Hello, my jam friends. I hope you guys are all doing well. You can tell by the title what this video is going to be about. So, if you would like to know more about this video, the details of this video, and I have a special guest behind the camera. So, you guys stick around. So, hello, Jen friends. I hope you guys are all doing well. We are at 8 I think, 8 or 8.09. She said 9, you guys. She's behind the camera, but she said 9. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> That's all things KK. If you do not know, that's my daughter. So you guys go over to her channel and check her out. She said, don't shout her out. So there you go, you guys. But anyways, you guys, she's going to be behind the camera asking me some questions. If you guys are new here, welcome. If you love all things Jennifer, you love crop related videos, business related videos, then guess what? You know what to do. Subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you can know when I drop a new video. All my gym friends, you guys already know what's up. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming again. So you guys are going to get straight into this video, but first, you guys always ask about my nails. I did get them done today, and here they are. So, you guys, it is like storming here in Georgia. So, if it's kind of dark, that's the reason why. Sorry. But, yeah, they blinged out Um, because my birthday is in June. I'm going to look different. My hair going to be done as well. I have a hair appointment on Monday. Um, but, anyways, let's get out of that, you guys, okay? Um... Thank you guys for um, being a part of that last giveaway. Uh, you guys, I don't probably will be out actually on Monday or Tuesday, you guys, because I have a lot of stuff going on, but you will receive tracking. So you'll know when it goes out. Okay. So let's get into these questions. Okay. Question number one on, tell us what's the topic. Um, 17 questions to ask yourself before starting a business. 17 questions to ask yourself before you start a business. Okay, get to it. You guys, I'm going to answer these questions. If that, I feel like I need to answer or elaborate on it, I will. I have got tons of emails asking me to talk more about business. So, you guys, I'm giving you what you asked for. Go ahead. Okay, first question. Why do you want to start a business? So, number one, you should ask yourself, you guys, why do you want to start a business? Don't let it be because you see money. You should have fun when you're working. If you're not enjoying your work, it's time to bounce. So, sorry guys, but I got a message. But anyway, um, if you don't enjoy your job, it's time to bounce. I tell the kids that's all the time, all the time. And I actually um, agree with that, that if you do not love what you do, do not stay there. Money is not everything, you guys. I love everything about what I do. I think you guys get as well for joining Crop Talk. We on episode eight. Uh, so love what you do. So I will stop and answer um, some of them just for my preference, but why I started my business because I love fashion. I love clothing. I love shoes. I love, I love anything glitter. Um, I'm just a girly girl when it comes to that. I love to shop. If you love to shop, definitely get into it. Be an entrepreneur. Hands down. This is the video you've been waiting on. If you guys saying, Oh, I've been wanting to start. I never got a sign. Here's your sign. Okay. Number two. Who is your target audience for your business? Who is your target audience for your business? So when you are, we're going to talk about customizing shoes because that's what we do over here. If you are customized shoes or if you're selling luxury, make sure you know your target audience. You will nine time out of 10 get that on any platform. You go um, through your, um, I think it's like in your settings. You can also find out the age bracket of who have been watching you if you have a website you also can find out what bracket is buying from you i know from godaddy.com you can do that other website i don't know about that but i'm pretty sure you guys because you have to keep um track of your revenue so 
that's what I'll say about that. So always know your audience, whether it's 50 year old, 40 year old, 20 to 50, whatever the age bracket is, know your audience and cater to that specific audience. Got it. Number three. Can this business idea make you money now and in the future? So you guys, this is a question that I had on my mind a long time ago. If you guys want story time to, um, Drop it in the comment section. You guys do not know this, but I will tell you. You need to get a business that is going to be good for now and good for, let's say, 5 to 10 years from now. Don't get a business that is going to be temporary. You want to make sure I almost got stuck. I'm going to tell you guys, like I said, you need a, you need a story time. Drop it in the in the bottom in the comments. Just say story time. You don't have to add nothing. Just say story time. I know what you're talking about. But Croc tried to sue me, you guys. Yeah. We can talk about that later. And that will tie into that question. I don't want to make this video really, really long. So that's the reason why not with 17 questions, you guys. But if you want a story time, say story time on Croc lawsuit or whatever the case. But they tried to sue me yeah okay next question who are your competitors find out who are your competitors whatever area or field you're in make sure you find out who your competitor are um make sure that's not copying or anything like that that's just like what macy do with dealer jc penny you know jc penny barely hanging on but you know back in the day jc penny was popular you guys um, you need to find out who your competitor are because you'll be like some of these stores where they're closing down or some of these businesses you want to reach over the top. You don't want to stay stagnant in one area. You need to, you know, flourish like a flower. Okay. Next one. What number is this? Seven or six? Five. Number five. What is your USP? What is your USP? Tell everybody what USP mean. Unique selling point. Unique selling point is your USP. That's what they stand for. So how are you savvy to sell to a customer? Okay. What makes you different than anybody else? Remember, you're not the only one that designing shoes. You're not the only one that are selling charms. So you, so you got to be unique. Whether it's your packaging, whether it's your labels, whether it's your shipping status, whether it's your um, new inventory, whether it's different patches, the list go on and on. Find out what's different. Your, your thing, whatever you come up with, is different from the next person. Compare it to different other spots. If you see that, hey, she got a blue check, she popular, find out what, what can I do different from her? You want to stand outside the box. That's what's going to make those customers draw in. Oh, that's unique. I never saw that before. Um, Next question. How will you market your business? How would you market your business? So for me, I market my business a lot of ways, you guys. I market on Google. I market on Yelp. I market on Pinterest. I, oh, yeah, you guys. You guys probably like, these are gems. You guys better be um, liking this. Thumbs it up. Uh, I market on Instagram. I market on YouTube. I market on Facebook. Every site I'm on, I market. Oh, and by the way, put a sticker on your vehicle. That's another one. Do not be riding around here. You got a business open and you have no sticker on your car. Don't do it. Or a truck, van, bicycle, whatever it is. Put a sticker on that bad boy because you want to advertise yourself. Okay. Next question. Question seven. How will you price your product? How would you price your product? Make sure your pr your pricing match your quality. Does that make sense? Do not be going out here buying any dollar charms and then you're trying to sell them for $3. And their shine is dull. There's no shine there. Or they're missing stones. As soon as homegirl get it in the mail, she got stones all, all throughout her package. 
Who's gonna buy that? They're gonna complain. Oh, that's three dollars. Girl, why are you selling your charms a 75 bundle for 300 and something dollars or 200 and something dollars? And I got rhinestones all over the place. You will never get that with 623. I promise you that. Um, so make sure it match. Okay. Next one. What number? Um, eight. Do Number you, eight, you guys. Do you have the funds to start the business? Uh-oh. Number eight is a uh, is some I can talk about for hours. Number eight, do you have the funds to start this business? Stop being cheap. I'm going to say it slow. Stop being cheap. That's not going to get your business anywhere. If you decide to nickel and dime, guess what you're going to get? Nickel and dime customers. You may get a one customer in a day and another customer in three or four months. Guess why? You nickel and dime the way for your business. I have a lot of people that come to me, they're like, oh, you know what? I should have did that bundle, what you told me to do, and I didn't do it. Sorry. You didn't listen. You have to understand the business aspect. In order to get money, you got to spend money. That is hands down the truth. If you only knew how much money I'm spending to 623, you guys would have a headache. But I will say I reap the benefits. I get all that money back and plus, which that's how it's supposed to be. You're supposed to profit offer your business soon you guys 623 is coming out with their own clothes so watch out for that as well you heard it here first okay um so make sure you're not cheap with your business um if you want charms spend that money for them charms but make sure home girl whoever selling it to you it match whatever price you putting out there my charms are tw top quality top I don't go to the bottom of the bottom. I don't get no rinky dinky charms, bent up, dull, missing stones. You know, um, the G don't look correct with the GG. It's probably a GC. No, I don't do none of that, you guys. Make sure your stuff match. Why? Because these people that are coming to you buying that stuff, they they want to know why they spend two hundred dollars or a hundred and some dollars. I would, you know. Next question. I think we're on number nine. Yes. Are you extremely motivated or passionate? You have to be just like I am, you guys. Extremely motivated, extremely passionate about what is yours. If you're in this for the long haul, you got to act like it. Don't be taking no breaks. Don't be talking about, oh, yeah. That lady stressed me out yesterday. And, oh, my goodness, this lady is crazy. I need two weeks off. Don't do it. The two weeks that you're taking off, somebody done got your customer. I done seen it happen. You guys, if you, if I can show you like text messages and stuff, you guys will be like, oh my goodness, this is like, it gets crazy, you guys. So don't do it. Don't be, if you just not starting your business, put your blood, sweat, and tears. You guys, I ain't gonna lie. Some of the times, I be wanna cry sometimes because I'm like, dang. I have to deal with home. I have to deal with the kids. I got a husband. I have to cook. I have to clean. I have to take kids back and forth to work. Like, it is nonstop. But guess what? I went trading for the world. I swear. I put it on everything I love, you guys. I love what I do. I love being busy. I love the position God put me in. I love it. I love all you guys. I love spreading the love. I love telling you guys the information. Hopefully, you guys will use it one day. I hope. Um, Next question. I think we're on number 10, you guys. Yes, Can you do this alone? Can you do this alone? Let me tell you something about that. You cannot do this business alone. You can start up alone. This house right here, teamwork all the way around. The kids, get your kids involved if you have any. Niece, nephew, whoever's in your house, get them involved in your business. Don't be selfish and like, oh, well, she ain't going to learn that. My girl, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I did not have 10% faith in her in the beginning. She will tell you. 
I was like, oh, no, girl, you ain't doing nothing to that crawl. You can go sit down. Because I got to listen to that backlash from that customer. But then I start to show her things. Baby. I can go out of town and she got it. Hands down. Hands freaking down. So you will need a team. There's no I in team. Yeah, it's your business, but that don't mean you ain't going to need help. Everybody need help. So I have my husband and I have the kids. And of course, I'm like nine people by myself, you guys. I do that. Y'all yeah, know that. I do that. Okay, next question. What resources do you already have? What resources you have? So you guys need to ask yourself, do I have all the resources need to start my business? Charms, bracelets, um, bandana, clothing, whatever business you're trying to get into, make sure you have all your resources. I tell y'all all the time, get a freaking notebook. You need to write down all your stuff in a notebook. Be serious about what you're trying to do. Don't wait till it's too late, you guys. Stop doing that. You're losing out on this your money. I'm telling you. All this money out here, y'all are losing out. While y'all going to shop at this mall, spending all this money at these people mall, you making these people rich, and you actually could be rich at freaking self. Like, get it together. Next one. Are you ready to invest your time into the business? Are you ready to invest your time into the business? You guys, it takes time for everything. And guess what? In order to get that thing up off the ground, you're going to have to put a lot of time into it. You're going to be writing a lot of stuff, prices and quotes and all this stuff. You going to be doing that. And this is not no quick and easy little thing. It may look easy because you're like, oh, those crows. All it is is charms. No, nah, it get hectic, baby. You can get some customers that are downright dirty. Dirty, dirty. So make sure you got everything that you need. Everything. Chains, patches, fabric, um, your bubble mail. Everything. Don't go have step in them. I'm telling you. You will regret it. I promise you. Okay, next one. How will I set or how will you set up the legal uh, structure of your business? Oh, this is a good one. This one actually is own little category by itself. It is how do you set up the legal structure? You need a lawyer. You need, um, because you got my think this is a joke, but these people will scam you. Who? Who? They tried it with six one third. I don't know how about what? Two or three. Two or three people. She said, because they be here for it. Um, they're rough. They try, baby. They try. They try. But they always what, girl? Yeah. Fail. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you guys make sure you have. That in a row as well. Because you're going to get some people that think you're new. And don't be young. Oh, baby. They'll take you for a ride if you're young. They be trying to get on to my girl. Mm-mm. She has a bear over here. She's ready. Okay? Uh, So, you're not going to try it with KK's chest. You're just not doing it. Um, But people do try it. You know? Uh, so, make sure you have your legal. It's nothing. While we're talking about that, make sure you're legalized as well. Because when people try you, if you ain't got no documentation showing you, you got license or anything like that, you might well get ready. Because they can have everything in your little, whatever you got going on. Make sure your stuff is legit. I'm telling you. Get it patented. You know, get your license. My license, I said, I just print them out again. Because... I don't put my paper somewhere. So I had to redo it. Uh, actually, day for yesterday, I had to pay uh, Texas or 6 to a third, you guys. Um, so you guys got to make sure I have my license. You can look it up, too. So active as the days go on. Okay, next one. What kind of taxes do you pay? What kind of taxes do I pay? So you need to pay your state taxes for sure. When you go to whoever it is. 
Um, if you got stocks or bonds, you know, we have a lot of different things. So ours is different. I could never do our taxes on my own. I tried it and I'm like, oh no, just because it's, it's too many things. If you got a lot of stuff, you don't want to, I'm not trying to deal with them people. Um, so make sure you know about your taxes, call your local tax office, have an appointment. You can also get an appointment with your local uh, tax office and they'll be able to tell you more. I don't want to put it out there for your state when I'm not in your state. Okay. Next one. What are your goals? What number is this? It is number 16. Uh-oh, you guys. We almost out of here. Number 16. What are your goals? Always make a goal. I normally make a goal every like um, end of the month, but it's before the new month. Okay. So we got 31 days in this month. It'll be on the 30th. I always make a goal. Always. And I always achieve my goal. Always. I grind nonstop. Like this one was a big one and I made it. Um, I made it actually over $400 over. And I'm like, I'm still going. He just gave me my total. Actually, you guys, uh, probably like 15, 20 minutes ago. Uh, so you guys always make a goal for yourself. Always try to achieve. Always add stuff to your business. Don't ever subtract. Always add. Or if you do subtract, make sure you have something to replace it. Um, if you start out slow, I'll say start out with three, uh, three things to sell, to sell in that bracket, whatever, like if you sell in bracelet, I would do the, the bracelets, whatever bracelets you like. Then I would do the charms and I would do the rings and maybe a tool with it. That go your, all your items in one combined. You see what I'm saying? If you did Crocs, you can do Crocs, patches, fabric, or Crocs patches gibbets however you like it that's how you normally get started then you increase okay next one last one when will you be ready to start now you guys heard that when will you be ready to start if you're watching this now do not wait another second start now even if you buy smaller items dollar ticket items Oh, I did hear a couple of my people said they do want um, a video on the dollar store. Um, I'm going to show y'all something right now just because I'm sitting in here and I'm looking at it. Give me those file at the top. Give me me. So, you guys, my baby is getting up. She's so sweet, y'all. So, this is May. This is all May, you guys. Like, all my orders, as you can see, goes into May. And I actually have some downstairs, I think, still. Oh, yeah, I do. Um, You get these little things from the dollar store. Dollar store. You get 12. Put January, February, March, April, May, so forth and so on. On the box. You get just a label, put it on the box. This is how you keep your things organized. You put these in there. Guess what? You go to whatever month these people order. That's their order. You're welcome. Until next time, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, KK. Love you, girl. So much. You guys, she gave me this idea, actually. And I thought to do it. Until next time, you guys. Stay Fabulous. Mwah. Peace.